never... Oh my gosh, one day, NPC, I'm gonna see you at a GDQ, and I'm going to have them, and you can't stop me, okay? Actually, let's come in and talk about Neil Breen right now, because guess what? NPC is the GM for the Hacksaw Round. Come on in, NPC. I want to chat and talk about the miracle that Neil Breen brings into your life, okay? Hello! Do, do we really need to talk about Neil Breen? I Always. feel like we don't need to do this. He's the... Okay. Okay, he's the best, because he's not being ironic, he's being genuine, okay? Like, he's a regular Tommy Wiseau. A regular? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's sure. a regular. If you can say something like that, it's regular. I mean, he, he's... <laughs> I'd, I'd say he's probably even... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The room is definitely more enjoyable than every Neil Breen movie. But Neil Breen that brings the fact. quantity, okay? He brings the stuff. Oh. I agree that there is a quantity of quality. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ayako and Windrider Shiva, for those subs. Uh, yeah, you've been here for a year. Uh, yeah, those who have been sub for a year, I do sometimes have sub-choice video games. So, uh... You know, I'm hoping to do a bunch of those over Christmas break. I think you've got some lined up for me too, NPC. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, I've already made you play a game, but it's not the game I really want you to play. And it's not a bad game. It's just, you know, a bit... I don't want to... I, yeah, kind of obtuse. Oh, okay. If, if people in the chat have ever played Nightshade on NES, they know what, they, what sounds... I'm talking about. That sounds fun. It sounds Nightshade, scary. Nightshade is a fun game. It's just very hard to do. Okay, uh, let me let me take a quick look. Let me take a quick look. Okay, that looks like a lot of fun. That all I did was look at like three screenshots, and it looks great. So NPC, oh Wind Rider Shiva, holy guacamole! Thank you so much for those gift slips. You are amazing. Uh, NPC, let's stop talking about me. Let's start talking about you and specifically what evil you have brought about today. What game do we have? What ROM hack? Okay, first, first off, this evil was not my design. It was brought on to be by a friend who I joined one of his groups. He uh, made me play this in one of his events, and it was quite evil. And so... Because we have these people here who have gotten this far yeah. in Casa Grande, we need to give them the evil, too. Ooh, I like evil. Uh, however, I have a feeling that uh, people should probably avoid your friends. <laughs> okay. Avoid for Sancha, everybody. So, what game, what is the title of this ROM hack? It is called Super Carrots, A New Harvest. This carrot looks so dorky. He's like, uh, is that me? Am I the carrot? It's like, yeah, yeah you're, the, this, you're the carrot. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be... This is basically going to be Death Incarnate, and we're just going to all laugh at it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some people could guess which game this is just looking at it. Others are going to struggle a little bit. I'm fine with your struggle, okay? Trust me, as soon as we get into the game, you'll know. I was about to say, it, just, it should not be that hard of a struggle, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, I've never heard of this. I've definitely never seen it before. I'm very excited for it, though. Uh, well, because, you... yeah, Corn Dan very much wasn't happy about having to try this out. <laughs> well, the thing is... The thing is, is that you can't just have a person's opinion, uh, especially on stuff like this. You need, like, more than one opinion. Okay. And the first screen is just special. And so... Yeah, I'll, uh, we'll have to read the story a little bit as we get into this. Uh, but, yeah, everybody feel free to kick back, relax, enjoy as we get everything set up. Both the... Well, at least one of the streamers appears to be online, and I will work on making sure everything looks as good as possible for Super Carrots and New Harvest. 
And remember, everybody, you need to eat your carrots. Yeah, if you don't, NPC is going to come for you and give you video games. Yes, and I'm just going to give you all of... I'm basically just going to start with color dreams and work down. And you don't want me to go down from color dreams. Because it's all statue from there. Oh, no. <laughs> Everything's coming up satchin. <laughs> Or we, can, or we can play well. that. <laughs> or you can play that like pink jelly game. I hate pink jelly. Okay, <laughs> by Hummer Team. Like, here's the deal. It both is boring and vomitous, and that's a terrible combination. You know, if you, it's like if you're sitting in the bathroom and you feel like you need to vomit, but you, you can't, so you're just sitting there forever. You're like, ugh. I'm probably going to, probably going to, and then you don't. You're there for like two hours. Just don't vomit. That's what that's what pink jelly is like, okay? Absolutely a play by play that I just gave y'all. It's really not, but it's also not incredibly fun either, so it's not? Wow. Thank you for completely discounting everything that I just said. No, I said it wasn't fun. Yet I'm not saying that it was like a masterpiece. It's... The only good thing is the face of the animal that you get to play as. Quote unquote good. Yeah. Let me keep in, keep in mind we both speed run Back to the Future, so our our you know quality is quite low in what we will play. Look, Back to the Future is a decent game that would have worked well in an arcade setting if it weren't a Back to the Future game. There. There's my opinion. Maybe I should get you to play Back to the Future with corrected music. Uh... I have that love wrong. It's overrated. It's overrated. <laughs> I mean, the music actually sounds normal if you play it. But the fact of the matter is that you play Back to the Future so much that you just can't handle having the normal music. Oh my gosh, that would actually be kind of fun to try it out with the different music and see if it does trip me up. Like, I love... Maybe not love. Love might not be the wor word for it. I think when I play Back to the Future now, I almost don't even hear the music. I can agree with that. But, yeah, I mean, the music we've just gotten so numb to. Okay, I'm still waiting for one of our players to go live. Arr, arr. That's okay. You can, That's, what? you can do it, player. You can do it. You can get online. Yeah, I know you've got a moon next to your icon. Does that mean that you went to the moon? I think they're visiting the moon. I want to go to the moon, NPC. Can you take me? If I go, if you go, will you take me? Like I would go to the moon, I can't even stand heights. It's I not just, high. <laughs> it's not high, it's just completely away from, you know. Earth. Oh, yeah, what if you are on the surface of the moon? Are you going to be afraid of heights if that happens? No. Well, gravity is much less, so you'd definitely be jumping higher. Yeah, but then you fall really slow. It's like it's like you're in jello, okay? Do you have a story for you? Hold on. Okay, yeah, the the biggest thing, uh, especially around this time right now, people have been getting sick. Uh, we have been very happy to work with various players who uh, have been getting illnesses. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to take a little bit longer to complete the tournament than uh, to kick people out because they got sick. So. Uh, that that's why we've had things stretched out a little bit these last few weeks uh, hopefully uh, everybody here if you're feeling ill hopefully you get better okay 
Yeah, everybody, please get better and stay safe. Oh, yeah, and I agree, everybody, get a flu shot. I got one in my arm. Uh, yeah, not in my butt this time. I don't <laughs> think that was a doctor I went to. <laughs> what kind of shot did you get? Let's talk about something else. Uh, okay. <laughs> A shot of care and something? No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> no, I stopped myself. I didn't stop myself. Wow, you are going to be uh, in trouble. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a GM. You can't do anything to me. <laughs> you want to bet? Watch my power. Watch my power. Uh, there. Oh crap, I think I kicked him from the server. I didn't mean to do that. Let's look at the fun. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Well, okay, let's go ahead and wait for him to come back. Uh, notifications, is he back? Yeah, yeah, he's back. Uh, crap. Well, this was dumb. <laughs> wow! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> Oh. I told you I have the power. Yeah, don't <laughs> test me, boy. How dare you? My server. My Twitch stream. Well, now I need to get all my... Oh, that's okay. I was just making shit. <laughs> okay, let there me actually go. capture because both the, the players are streaming now. Look, you have to do shenanigans <laughs> for the people watching, you know? There. Yeah, but then I can't comment about how angry I was that you kicked me out of the server. A shenanigan a day, okay? Everybody, fully recommended. Get your shenanigans in, or uh, the butt doctor's coming for you. <laughs> yeah. And we don't want that butt doctor now, do we? I told the witch doctor. <laughs> the butt doctor. I told Justin's the Justin's giving me a look. No, Justin. <laughs> Ignore the conversation. We're just talking about butt doctors. I told butt doctor. He told me butt. I'm trying to think how to do the parody now. <laughs> I told the butt doctor. I really had. To... <laughs> <laughs> <I> told. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh. And he said. <laughs> well, that was a fun <laughs> stream, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> We're not going crazy whatsoever. Not at all. Oh, I'm a little bit concerned because I hear the audio here. Oh, I mean, the audio is, you know, classic good audio. Oh, well, yeah, of course it's good audio, but now everybody knows what kind of ROM hack we're getting into. It's Super Mario Brothers 2. Carrot video game. Uh, now it is all up to four young heroes to save the earth from unhealthy eating habits. Good luck, fruits and veggies. So which one do you want to be? Which kind do you want to be? Uh, I want to take... Car carrot 2 or carrot 4? Are they all carrots? Well, they... Mm. It's like, I think not. I don't know what the second one is supposed to be. The third one, I guess, is a raisin, D depending think, on the name. I th oh, okay. Veggie JC Denton? What? Okay. Jason Cross? And Nanaba. Banana. It's like a banana. Nanaba. Okay, I'm doing the countdown, everybody, so you definitely want to spam all of your healthy food emotes, okay? All of them. All of them, please. Yeah, we got some lore on Poltergeist screen, uh, but come on, spam, 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 because we are gonna start real 
really, really soon. As soon as I... Yeah, as soon as I see movement, I will start our timer. Ah, there we go. And as I'm going to have to recapture. The music is already the, you know, the right SMB music to start off with. This is... N no. Hard disagree there. So, right now, Gene Genie had the right idea, and there, Poltergeist has the right idea. Just go inside the door and tank it so you can just start the next area. Yeah. And don't actually have to fight the mouse, sir. Um, the funny thing was, is that, um, when both Kate and Cornan played this, they were both going over strategies on how to fight that mouser, and I basically said, uh, you didn't just, uh, take a hit and go through the door, and they're like, oh, we didn't think about that. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, uh, you know, there's a reason some people are good at just doing, uh, blind races when it comes to video games, and there's a reason I'm not fantastic at it. Linker, well, thank you for the note. Flashing warning in the title would probably be helpful, so uh, Cadis will be throwing one up there. This music sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. I would be terrible for that, so I can't give you any information. Okay, I'm gonna try to do some research, okay? That's like 90% my job because nobody else does it. <laughs> Why just kick me out of this room again? <laughs> I mean, I can if you want. No. I don't. I don't, don't know do if that. I gave you all the roles that you should have, uh, but whatever. You're listed as an admin now, so what, you can access everything. <laughs> <laughs> you were an admin years, like a year or two ago, and then we forgot to ever add you back. Well, yeah. That's... <laughs> That was the thing, I was just, you know, not being a Game Master and I was actually playing, so... You know, what are you gonna do when you're wanting to participate in the badness? Oh, I do not like this mouser that Jean Genie's trying to fight. Well, you don't technically have to fight it, you can go around it. But, yeah, that's that basically good. what that is, yeah. <laughs> so, one of the things is that, um... This will be stupid hard, and... They, when we did this ROM hack, when Time did this race for us, Time Stalker did this race, um, there was like a certain amount of time we could just play it as normal, and then after a certain amount of time we were allowed to use save states. But they are not getting that luxury, they just have to go through it as best as they can. Okay. Oh my and gosh. trying to fight these mousers is... Not what you want to do. There's nothing good about any of them. Yeah. By the way, I'm... a little bit confused, uh, because it looks like... there may be some other Super Carrot games out there for the NES. Uh, Are there? As far as I've seen, there may be a Super Mario Brothers 3 ROM hack that has to ha- I don't know. I don't know. Everybody eat your carrots. That's all we're saying. Eat your carrots or else. Or else we'll make you play games with carrots in them. Yeah, don't you hate when that happens? So, Bolter Ghost is doing the wrong... Well, right and wrong thing in that that area can lead straight to the boss and you don't have to do all the other part of this level. But it's just trying to get that bomb in the right place that it breaks open. Oh, yeah. And he died by Mouser. Yeah, there's definitely a Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Carrots 3. Uh... So, it, it's cool that, you know, they're... They put a lot of work into having multiple carrot-based video games instead of just one, you know. Yep, and now Poltergeist doing the, you know, back door is now going to be fighting the, uh, whatever that is. Now, you'll notice that the Yoshi is also spawning, um, skulls and crossbones. 
So these aren't all safe. They're not going to start you off with a safe Yoshi because this is an evil ROM hack. And now we're entering the frog's mouth. Yeah, mini game time. It looks like Poltergeist may be done with one stage so far, huh? Yeah, and this stage is not even close to easy, as he's they're about to find out. Because you, you really need to abuse this. Um... <laughs> yeah, you see, they're kind of stranded now, and they're going to be forever stranded. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wah -wah. Wait, okay, I found... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find more information about who did this ROM hack or where it came from. And uh, one page that I found that has uh, super carrots, a new... Harvest actually has the picture for Harvest Moon next to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sure I don't think that kind of harvest. I, I think it's probably the right download. It's just that they couldn't come up with a better picture for the game. Well, at least they, um, you know, the quality went up. <laughs> yeah, harvest those moons. Now that's also good. You also you they have these like ball things that are kind of like the potions of Super Mario Brothers 2. Mm. And they're quite useful if you want to try and find that, um... Try to think of the right way of saying it. Um... Trying to find those extra... What are those? Uh, health pickups. I don't know why that was so hard for me to think. Huh. Yeah, Gene Genie... Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, Gene Genie, I've often seen, you know, take a little time to really learn the mechanics of a game, but then do extremely well. Uh, Poltergeist, I, I don't believe, has had as much Cusa Grande experience as Gene Genie, but still, I, I think that there is plenty of time for uh, Gene Genie to catch up. Oh yeah, definitely. It's very early on. Yeah, I mean, we, there's going to be plenty of um, just trying to get through these levels, so there will be, you know, plenty of time for them to explore and get further. But um, Older Guys definitely did the right choice in doing the backwards entry into the boss level of level one. We okay. told them, we did tell them, um, they are not allowed to find dwarves. Because we want them to get the full experience. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's... But that's a back door, and that's acceptable still. So I think I'm actually finding information about the person who made this. Keith McKnight. Uh, as far as I can tell, this guy is the same person who made uh, some of the old Mario Twins videos that came out. Probably Flash videos out there. Uh, yeah, he, uh, at the time that the interview that I'm reading, uh, happened, he was a 15-year-old nerd from Pennsylvania, spent a lot of time on the computer, and he enjoyed tacos from Taco Bell. <laughs> a nerd? That's all it basically says is that it's a nerd that enjoyed Taco Bell. Yeah, he liked, well, who doesn't? I mean, Taco Bell doesn't like you back, but you can enjoy Taco Bell. It's legal. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a little brutal right from the beginning. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say, what what do you think is the most problematic part of this ROM hack? The amount of mousers that are in it, for one. Yeah, I, I noticed, uh, because mousers are pretty... Uh, not just... I'd say it's the arc of what they throw that is the biggest problem here. Well, the issue, and if um, Poltergeist actually destroys the mouse surf, they'll find out the issue. Oh no, they remembered. They have to actually bomb that to get through it. They, if they just destroy the mouse surf, then they destroy their way of getting through. So they did very well. Okay. But I don't know if it's a speedrun thing in that Toad is the best character to play it overall. Oh no! Ah, 
bad death happens. That's sort of Mario. Well, I, well I, here, I think... vegetables reality. They're gonna die. I know Toad has the best, best grab speed, but <laughs> this is not Toad. This is Raisin. Oh yeah, and you're who knows right. what Raisin can do? As we can see, there is nothing in between um, here and that ledge that's shooting fire. That's why I always picked um, a, a Nanaba. Nanaba has the special floating ability that is incredibly useful, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, it honestly... Peach, I think, was one of the best characters for a blind Super Mario Bros. 2 playthrough. If uh, you have one character with a floating ability, I feel like that would probably be the optimal choice for me as well. Uh, oh, look. Yeah, but this, this is Nanaba, so not Na Peach. Nanaba, is it like banana but messed up? Oh, no! Gonna have to actually do some platforming here, Gene Gene. Yeah, this is some crazy platforming for sure. <laughs> if only you picked Luigi, you could just jump over this. See, but they they didn't. Because they prefer uh, Raisin over an Anima. <laughs> Drop the key during the jump, I love it! <laughs> <laughs> now they got that. Oh okay. no, is it gonna despawn? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they threw, for sure. They threw it too far, so they have to go get it again. So I managed to find Keith McKnight's uh, page, specifically uh, where they talk about uh, the various games that they've made. I'm, I'm looking at the FAQ here. Uh, what's your side about ROM hacks? If it's about ROM hacks, then why do you have a section where you draw carrots? The answer is, shh, someone might hear you. <laughs> um, okay, is it hard to hack? And Keith says, not really. Anyone with some computer knowledge can do it. I have computer knowledge, but I'm not a hack. I have a person that plays or makes hacks. So Should... I wouldn't know what the first step would be. Oh my gosh, this is like prime early 2000s humor, and it hurts so much to read it through all of this. I hate it. Oh, come on. I, I read some of it. Okay. 1337? Question mark? <laughs> the answer is leet. Question. Thanks for clearing that up. Answer. Anytime. Question. Should I ever talk to you using or to you... Should I ever talk to you in leet speak? Answer. Not unless you're joking. Okay. Can I email you? Sure, just don't bother me with spam, Pokemon crap, ROM request flames, or that kind of stuff. Uh, can I email you something that is so incomprehensible that your head explodes from a sudden loss of intelligence? <laughs> Answer, not unless you're happy pee-pee head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, like, oh. yeah, this... <sighs> I feel like this is something I would have written maybe as a teen, which is probably how old they were writing all of this. Yeah, but Poltergeist just realized the sad truth that if you retry, you have to start on 1-1, one, one. so they restarted because it's not good to waste a, con waste a continue. Question, do you like to be around stupid people? Answer, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done with this FAQ. It, it's driving me nuts. I really, what is that okay. about stupid? Let me see if I can find some of the art, uh, because there's a chibi veggie. A chibi veggie? Well, that one's kind of kind of ugly, but that's okay. Veggie the Super Carrot Art. Yeah, yeah. How do I go back on this page? Because... Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just say... I hate his website. 
I really hate his website. Fearful yeah. veggie. Oh no, the veggie is scared. Uh. Hey, we okay, should... I'll, I'll share the chibi veggie with everybody just so you can see. I hope this is the right link. There you go. You can you can go and find some of the carrot art that may have either been inspired by this ROM hack or inspired the ROM hack. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this music is a little annoying. It's fine. It's fine. I like how you're like, it's fine, but you're really not fine, are you? <laughs> no, I'm I'm not super fine. Ah, uh, well, right now we're 15 minutes into the match, and both of the players are working on making some progress here. Gene Genie appears to have gotten the game over. Mario Bros. 2 is a little bit rough that way, that if you die too much, you know, you have to go back to the beginning. You gotta clear a world before you have solid progress. Yeah, so that's the thing that is, like, super evil, is that they have to actually beat all three levels of this world in order to um, be able to properly use a continue. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. This guy has a link to the nifty rum hacking ring. That's cool. What other hacks does he have? Okay. <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers world. Super Mario Brothers levels in Super Mario World. Okay, that was in progress. Super Carrots, a new harvest in progress. I, I think th that's what we're seeing here, though. So, in progress means finished. From what I can see. Oh my gosh, Poltergeist is through that stupid section. Yeah. <laughs> a Poltergeist... But, um... Yeah. Gigi needs to... Yep. Yeah. It's nice to know that they both have some knowledge of Super Mario Brothers 2. They're not just blind to it, they've actually played it quite a bit. So they're not entirely struggling like I do. Because <laughs> I struggled through this pretty heavily, but I still beat it, dang it. Even if it was with safe states. Mm -hmm. Uh... So, I I'm seeing also, apparently... He was working on the Mario Final Fantasy project. What? I am very interested in... Oh my gosh. How could you... Oh, I hate the website. I hate it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Mario characters in Final Fantasy 1. Uh, but I don't know if he ever actually released anything with it, for it, but hey, that's cool. So what's the characters in Final Fantasy 1 that he used? Uh... I don't know. How am I supposed to I mean, know? I mean, without with all the characters of Final Fantasy 1, who would you want your character to be? Well, I mean, there's Yoshi, Luigi, Mario, Peach... It's all those characters from Final Fantasy 1, you know? <laughs> Okay, let's put it this way. So we're making a Super Mario Brothers 2 ROM hack, and we're going to use characters from Final Fantasy 1. Which of the characters are we going to use? Just for funsies. Uh, Monk. Who would Monk be? A butcher. Uh, actually, there are no butchers in... Okay, never mind. Who would the Monk be? Who punches the hardest? Probably Wario, okay? Wario would make a good monk. Wario's not in this game, though. I don't care. We're gonna have Wario. You can't stop me, NPC. You think you can, but you can't. Fine. Oh, looks like, um... Poltergeist just realized they didn't have to go through that key section. They could just jump and bypass that entire area. Yeah, I love it when games have multiple ways to get through areas here. And, you know, that includes ROM hacks, okay? Oh my gosh, goodbye, Gene Genie. <laughs> 
It's like I'm starting to think that was the reason why he picked Luigi to begin with. Was so that um they could do that. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at the email section on the site. Somebody in chat suggested that I do. Uh, the maker of this ROM hack has an email section. Uh, where's my Addy? No, you can't have my email address just yet. Read these rules first. Number one, don't bash my work. <laughs> I don't think we can e get the email. I'm sorry. Uh, like, there are some impressive things with this, but oh... Uh, we are bashing it a little bit. I mean, look at Alter Ghost. He's a head. He's like Rayman, okay? <laughs> it's true. Okay. Uh, so, if you don't like it, then don't download it. How are you going to know if you like it until you download it? Come on, dude. Uh, constructive criticism is welcome. Okay. Number two, don't randomly send me files. Ask me if I want them first. That's actually a really good tip. Don't email people random files because that's bad. Don't do it. Okay, number three, don't ask me for ROMs. Okay. Number four, don't be afraid that I'm going to put your mail in a stupid mail section if it's really pointless. Just expect Ugh. me to delete it. Note, phrase is not pointless. It lets me know my work is appreciated. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Five, please send me weird game genie codes for games you've seen me hack. I can probably use them sooner or later. Six, don't ask me how to hack. The links I have should help you enough. If you think you can follow these simple rules, then click here and remove the say no to spam part. Oh no. Okay. Like, this is amazing. I absolutely love this person's side. Okay, it's so good. And here, like, five minutes ago, you were just complaining about how it was so bad. I mean, it is bad. But it's so good. Wow. Is Poulter really going to be fighting? Yep. Totally just straight a... Uh, a Birdo with star power. <laughs> good job. Birdo deserved it. Oh no, Birdo's back! How did he manage to make every single sprite in this, like, 50 times uglier? It's impressive. Yeah, Vulture just realized that he needed the Birdo in order to keep continuing on with the level. Yeah, and why do the flowers explode? Like, I just don't understand the design choices for this. They're, they're, they're exploding with pollen. Okay. So that we can have more, you know, more uh, fruits and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, great. I'm, try I'm trying to make up a lore, you know. Yeah, you, you did pretty good, I suppose. <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry, all games can't be D52. Yeah, they can't. Okay. So I'm, I'm taking a look at the page specifically for this game. And unfortunately, it doesn't have much information about it. It does have screenshots with really dumb quotes under it. Ah, oh, poor Poulter. They just realized they need the key. Yeah, can't, can't, can't always have an easy way of going about these things. Oh, hey, at least that, uh, music is still in the game. It was just nice to get a little breath from that. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> yes? <laughs> uh... How am I going to phrase this, okay? Because I'm, I'm looking through the website, and uh, I believe this guy has videos of him playing through the game. Uh, actually got up to 1-3 and ran into a bug. Uh, hopefully we don't see that, but he doesn't call them VODs or videos. He called them 
NSM. And I'm not sure what that means. So I Googled NSM and I found National Socialist Movement, uh, which let's just go ahead and say that's probably not what he was using. <laughs> I concur about that. <laughs> Oh, they might be uh, movie files for the emulator. Yeah, you might be right. Oh, oh, nesticle movies. That's what they are. Yeah, it's not about Nazis at all. It's about nesticle. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, the I brain love this. There. I love this so much. Brain went there, I can't help it. I'm so sorry. Well, that that's because that's what it's named, okay? Sorry, everybody. It turns out that that's how it is. Yep, yeah, but it seems like um, they're slowly starting to, you know, get their rhythm going. Yeah, I think Gene Genie is making some progress. Poltergeist also uh, figuring out a lot of how to deal with the crap in this game. The, the thing is, you know, there were a lot of enemies spawning on the screen there, the stupid birds, and there's really not much room to maneuver in this area. Oh, never mind. Okay. I was about to say, please do not despawn your key right now. <laughs> that would be great. That would be awful. But I think also they're thinking about always trying to find all the health you can get in the level. Just because this is not... They found out how hard this is going to be, so any way they can get all the health they can pick up is beneficial. Yeah. And Chim Genie got that little, uh... uh damage boost, which was nice, and then they took another hit, and almost at the end of the stage. Now they have to go up against Mouser. We'll see if they figure out that they don't need to fight Mouser, they just need to break the door behind Mouser. Yeah. Yep. I mean, luckily Mouser throws a lot of walking bombs, so it's not too difficult. It's just when you only have one health, it's a little concerning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was expected. Yeah, I'm just really, really curious if they're still going to try and fight Mouser, or they actually saw the wall. I think they got it. They just need to do it. <laughs> they just need to do it! Oh no, they are actually going after Mouser. Well, that's because Mouser is a jerk, and Mouser just needs to die. Ooh, ow. Question, though, if you kill Mouser and don't actually explode the wall behind, are you going to be stuck? No, because there, you can go back through the door. And then, then respawn Mouser? Yeah. So basically, fighting Mouser is the biggest no-no that Gene Genie could be doing right now. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I don't know. Just... Just manage to get in there, grab a bomb dude, and throw it towards the, the wall. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Well, the other thing they can do is let all these bombs just destroy themselves because they continue to... I think it's like 10 enemies that die and you get an extra health that comes from the bottom of the screen. Oh, yeah, Gene Genie's actually waiting for that, so... It's not a bad idea. Not a bad move at all. Especially because Gene Genie only has one life left. Oh, and yeah. And so they need to make this count. What stage is this? Is this 1-2? Yeah, this is 1-2. And uh, Poltergeist has made it to 1-3. Like, they've been farming extra lives like nobody's business, so that's going to help them. Yeah. There's so many... Mousers, look at this platforming on Poltergeist screen. This yeah, is it's evil. Insane. This is it's evil. It's like, I don't know if they were intending for it to be so evil. 
Like, I'm looking for a description of the ROM hack, and they don't really have a description, they just have it. Yeah, I mean, and also, look at that, how much of a platform they have to work with, uh, fighting, um, mustached Birdo over there. There's, like, absolutely no room. Yeah. But I think, uh, they have the right idea in that they just need to stay on the other side and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, I, I completely agree with that. Like, Gene Genie, uh, can afford to take a hit or two. Uh, luckily, you know, if you do take hits, it's fine. There we go! Gene yes. Genie threw the stage onto a dash three, and that is how you do it. Yeah, I guess trying to go for all the uh, lives, extra lives you can, is also helpful. But yeah, now we're at the boss. That thing. I don't like the music in this. I hate it, okay? I know I've heard it before. I feel like... Oh no, bye Gene Genie. Yeah, bye Gene Genie. That's okay. Like, honestly, uh, starting over on 1-1 is going to probably be fine. The first couple levels are very quick to get through. I love how that little thing is the boss. And there we go. But... It looks like Poltergeist is moving on. Yeah, that was a fun go fun boss. Maybe yeah. a fun ghost too, you never know. So now so now they all start in world two, so they have a massive advantage. Right now, yeah. over Gene Genie. I would say right now, the game is uh, definitely in Poltergeist's favor. Gene Genie opting not to start over after a death in the first stage. I probably would. I'm not going to lie. I would, yeah, at this point, I definitely would. I just feel like there's too many mistakes already. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But they're still going to keep pushing on. Keep pushing, keep pushing on. So I don't know if there's any way to manipulate the, um... <laughs> no poltergeist, you still need to put that potion, that ball onto a, uh... A solid surface. Solid. Yeah. Oh my gosh, playing as the Toad character is just not working out for Gene Genie. I mean, I... I mean, in a speedrun kind of way, I think that that's why it's so used, but yeah, this is not a speedrun. This is... Oh, little trumpeters. We got trumpeters. <laughs> Sorry, Walter Coast just died because they assumed there was going to be something below that. Yeah, I I can believe that. Oh my gosh! Ah! Yeah, I like that they're both wise and that they need to get all the help they can get. Yeah. But I'm also kind of curious if, um, the reason that, um, Gene Genius switched to uh, Nanaba is just because playing as a Peach-like character is much easier than playing anything else. Mm. 
yeah, I honestly think that it would be easier. I mean, right now, the thing that's really in um, Boulder Ghost's favor is that, um, or Jean Genie's favor is that Boulder Ghost is having a ton of trouble with this first area. Yeah. But that's the desert for ya. Desert? I didn't know the desert had so much quicksand. <laughs> yeah, no, it, let me actually tell you that uh, I grew up in a desert and no, it doesn't. My gosh, Poltergo's just getting hounded by bombs! Birds dropping bombs everywhere! Oh my gosh, yeah, ride the bird. Ride the bird. Oh my gosh, no! Uh, although I have sort of played a little bit in quicksand, it's kind of fun. Okay, not recommended what? for... What? You just stand in it and wiggle your legs and you kind of sink down a little bit. Uh, it's fun! But with that said, don't play in deep quicksand. This wasn't very deep, okay? You just sort of sink in and then it's hard to get a little bit out of. Uh, it, it took me a little while to realize that... By a little while, it took me about 20 years to realize that I, what I had been playing in was quicksand. Uh, what, what happened in that 20 years time to make you realize that? It, it, I don't know. Like, I don't know, you you stand in something... The thing is, it was definitely wet, and so uh, that makes it a little easier to... Uh, to mush around a little bit easier to sink into. But, you know, it it got about knee height, and I wouldn't sink in anymore because it wasn't super deep, you know? So, uh, that actually was pretty not hazardous. The biggest risk is uh, that, guess what? It was up in the mountains, uh, so if for some reason it wasn't just knee deep, it could potentially be a bad thing. So, yeah. Quicksand. Uh, again, I'm not going to recommend it because that would be a very, very bad thing to recommend uh, on this channel. But I had fun. <laughs> no, don't be knee deep in the quicksand, but just be knee, knee deep in the dude. Oh yeah, that that's a that was the same camping trip as the time that. Uh, <laughs> I was Sorry. basically Sorry, on what? Walter Gus just got a surprise attack. It was very funny. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, you're sad for player, right player. Uh, you know what? Poltergeist is in the lead. I, I think that, you know, seeing Poltergeist die every once in a while is fine for now. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh -oh. basically just trying to remember a Kaiser level in a sense, and what what's going to kill you, what you need to remember to not die from. And I think that uh, Gene Genie is kind of unraveling a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jean Jean is gonna go on a short walk, so that's completely fine. There are just some games that just really pull your hair out, so I understand yeah. that. And I would say Jean Genie historically has done really, really well uh, with having some comebacks in the past, so it's not impossible. It's looking like it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but what can you say? Uh... You never really know. You never really know. Oh, we're right up on the story. The land of veggies was a peaceful land for generations upon generations, however, an evil power. Oh, dang it. Kidnap something. Okay. Yeah. They gotta or save the earth from unhealthy eating habits. I haven't seen any food in this game besides the main characters, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I haven't seen um, 
you know, unhealthy foods. It's like we should be attacking the unhealthy foods. I actually really hate the design choices in this when it comes to graphics. Like, very much so. Remember, Evil Power has kidnapped the eight essential vitamins and minerals. Oh no, it's like the herbs and spices. Except maybe, like, more essential. What, what do you have to recover? Like, potassium? Oh, Iron. Oh, that would help me, yeah. Vitamin C, vitamin B. Actually, yeah, someone make a Colonel Sanders hack of Super Mario Bros. 2. That would be great. The eight herbs and spices that are missing. Oh, what are the various characters you could play as? Because... And Colonel Sanders? Yeah. What has to be mashed potatoes and gravy? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, okay. I, mashed potatoes and gravy is something <laughs> you can pick up, but that's, can't jump very high. That's going to be Toad. <laughs> that's Toad. That's totally Toad. <laughs> so what else is there? What else can we think of? Um, um, yeah, we have <laughs> the biscuits, biscuits. Um, well, I, I think that Mar Mario is the biscuit. Or should chicken be biscuits? Because it's just like who is Colonel Sanders going to be though? Uh, Colonel Sanders. Well, Me Colonel know. Sanders can be Wart. <laughs> Who's Wart? <laughs> The final boss of Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh no, Colonel Sanders actually stole his own herbs and spices. That'd be e the evil twin of Colonel Sanders. Colonel's, um... Xander. Bla no, Colonel like from Blanders. Buffy. Colonel Blanders. Because it's bland food. Colonel Blander wants bland food. You. So we're trying to steal the eight herbs and spices from Colonel Blanders. Um, Colonel Sanders is Mario, the chicken is Luigi, um, Toad is the, um, Toad is the mashed potatoes and gravy, and Princess Peach are the biscuits. There we go. Somebody okay. make the ROM now. Yeah, immediately, so we can have them play a second hour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right now you can see that Vulpagos is taking their time because this is just not being nice to them right now. Now I'm guessing that they're both just really upset at time for um, not no, having gotten Actually, based off of what I'm seeing in Discord, they just both really hate Mario 2. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Polter goes to like, where are your eggs at? Uh, this has to be the non-egg birdo. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, nope, Polter goes, can't do it! Can't do it! Are, are you, you gonna get soft locked? Oh no. Well! That's what you get for not lifting the green block. And there <laughs> is the opening for G. Oh, never mind. Poltergeist is out. Uh, yeah, I, I did warn them. Softlocks may occur with ROM hacks. So, uh, if they find any glitches or do any weird stuff, it's their own risk. Uh, but luckily, Poltergeist got out. I figured that, like, usually with Mario 2, if you duck and hop left or right, you can navigate small areas like that. Like, I, I didn't expect it to actually be a lock. Now, Poltergeist needs to get the block. Yeah. Yeah. And not drop it. I mean, drop it selectively. Yeah, exactly. That's the right way to put it. Dad, Birdo! Crappy Birdo! <laughs> like, Birdo so who is... has a glowing gut. Oh, there goes Poltergeist. It's like, I wish I knew some green um, candies so I could give these green birdos a name. Uh, airheads have a green variety.
Yeah. Jolly Ranch. Well, these are Jolly Rancher Birdos. Jolly Rancher boy. Oh, no, it is the Jolly Rancher. Oh, no. You can tell because of the smile. Yeah, it has a lot of teeth in the smile, but still, Jolly indeed. Alter Ghost definitely working on getting the extra coins here. It's yeah. just really just trying to get the extra lives so that they don't have to try to replay um, level one again. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a worthwhile strat. I'm not sure I would have thought of doing that myself. Ow. Ooh, uh, Poltergeist unfortunately got sculled. Why would you change the fireballs to skulls? Are, like, fireballs non-existent in Veggie Land? I think that maybe, like, it would make sense because you don't want to be a cook a cooked vegetable, you know? That makes you an edible. Like, the more you get burned, the less people want to eat you. I mean, less people. Not a lot of people enjoy vegetables to begin with. Then again, you know, if vegetables touch skulls, I probably don't want to eat them either. Gotta be real here. Yeah. <laughs> Holter goes yeah. really wanting that invincibility. Yeah, remember, invincibility pops up based off of the number of cherries you've collected. Uh, I believe it's five. Something like that, yeah. So here we go, Poltergeist. Managing to get back with the key, only one hit left. Uh, just watch out, the birds are evil, okay? Birds are jerks, and it's not any different in this game. It looks like if you face right, though, and keep a certain number of them on the screen, you're going to be fine. There we go. Yeah, Poltergeist goes through the door. Yeah, it's basically sprite limits at that point. Oh, jeez. Oh. I... <laughs> that pattern is absolutely <laughs> evil. Absolutely evil. So now we're... Oh, I was about to say, now we're well, back to Birdo. But now we're done with Birdo. That didn't last long. No. They tried. Now we do have about 13 minutes left, but again, there is still technically time for a comeback for Gene Genie. I... It's possible this game is just a giant butt. Uh, Gene Genie has actually made it through this little fight before as well. Uh, you can get extra health if you just stand there. As you're seeing. Yeah, I... Yeah, right now, Polter is making the right decision in just not trying to, uh, throw the block in the walking path of the Jolly Rancher. The walking path of the Jolly Rancher. <laughs> okay, Gene Genie, just gotta wait a little bit and get some extra health. Honestly, it's better than risking a death. Just be patient, be a little bit calm, and you'll get through this okay. There we go. I'm free. Well, <laughs> there it me. goes. <laughs> easy come, easy go. No! Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Freddie Mercury. I appreciate it. I did not sing any more of that. Well, too bad. Too bad. You're still... Still Freddie Mercury to me. Thunderbolt do, 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 very, very frightening. I'll frighten you. <laughs> oh, with what? A carrot? A carrot. I actually really don't like carrots too much unless they're cooked well. Like, I don't know, they make my mouth itch if they're raw. So, cooking carrots is good. Like, you can make almost anything taste good if you cook it right, except for eggplant, okay? Eggplant, literally impossible to make good. What about durian? I've never actually had durian. Really? Yep. I don't exactly go out of my way to barf, though, you know? 
It's really as as people have said how bad it is. My experience is that it's just just tasted like onions. Well, I so, like onions. It's it's just the way I I tasted it, and I don't re exactly remember my experience with durian other than I I bought cookie durians. I bought them in cookie form. Yeah. Also, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and in agree with chat that food is not supposed to make your mouth itch. I think I have mild allergies for a lot of them, but that's okay. I've got a cell phone. If needed, I can can call somebody and be like, I can't breathe anymore. I'll just wave down Justin. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's it rarely gets past the point of my mouth itches. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. No mouth the cheese. <laughs> oh jeez, chat has really, really bad ideas. But yeah, in general <laughs> I don't yes. know. I I'd have to go pay for a doctor visit and then pay for all of the exams and I don't I don't have that kind of money. I do twitch.tv streaming of games like Super Carrots. You know? <laughs> This is like Super Carrots. Super Carrots and Athena. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and teaching, which guess what? <laughs> uh, yeah, pays just about as well. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Maybe we can crowdfund to find out if my mouth itches is bad thing. <laughs> Welcome to Procentious new show, Will This Make My Third Scratch? Will This Make Me Die? There we go, that's a fun show. I could I could do that. Because there are a lot of things I there are a lot of episodes I could do for that one. What are you doing, Poltergeist? Oh, the guess they wanted to do the left side instead of the What was so wrong with the right side? Yeah, the right side seems mostly fine so far. The key's there. The key's up there. Uh, they're trying to pave a way so that they can uh, get the key. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, Gene Genie. Oh, so close. Unfortunately, throwing the bomb, dudes is not a surefired way to get through this. Yeah, Gene Genie just needs to wait it out a little bit. We're getting short on time, though, and Poltergeist is still making progress. I'm gonna say at this point, uh, a comeback is very, very unlikely. Not necessarily impossible, because these levels are short when done well, but again, Gene Genie hasn't seen past this boss very much at all. But hey, we know Gene Genie's weakness. I think we know Poltergo's weakness by this point as well. Mario <laughs> 2. <laughs> I'm actually quite proud of, um... Walter Brigading so far. Yeah, honestly, this is a good amount of progress. Like, I, I saw we did have GMs test this, and they complained that this game is just so hard. Uh, and so, the fact that Poltergeist is this far, it, you know, it, it's really cool to see. Hey, Gene Genie is through! Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Honestly, what I do with this, uh, with the slots, is I just mash through it. If I get something great, if I don't, I don't care. There yeah, we go, another that. life. I was about to say, with the short amount of time, now is not the time to hope, try to precisely hit things and just run and gun. Now remember, Gene Genie doesn't know how far Poltergeist has made it. Because of that, they, uh, you know... Just oh. need to make a good push to make any progress past where they've gotten, which, th you know, they died super early in this level. Oh. Sorry. Oh, 
Gene Genie died due to the controller uh, just disconnecting. <laughs> no! Oh. Okay, that wasn't controller related, I think. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm frustrated with carrots. That was... I'm frustrated with bananas, oh I'm frustrated gosh. with carrots. Bleep, eating healthy, eat all the sugar you want, kids. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I actually have a lot less sugar these days than when I was younger. I don't know. My my family definitely didn't eat healthy, like, at all. Uh, I, I don't know why. My dad just disliked fruits and vegetables. We didn't really eat very much. Maybe corn every once in a while. But that's also if I you would... count corn... Uh, as a vegetable rather than a grain. I don't know. Hey, My sweetness was um, saltine crackers. You know what? Gene Genie is saying, that's it for me. <laughs> and this is bad. I can't I necessarily blame Gene Genie. We're going to keep letting Poltergeist play uh, until time is up. That way we can see uh, what else is to come in this game. Let me go ahead and put on some other music. Get it turned down a little bit for y'all. <laughs> other people <laughs> saying this is not a good game. They're trying to make it a good game. They just need to try harder. Come on, buddy. What? Sorry, we've got Katamari music uh, oh, here, awesome. which is better than whatever whatever music this had. Agreed. Like, it reminds me of Ice Age for Game Boy Color, the, the, the bootleg. I don't know why. Hello, Jean Genie! Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry, we feel ya. I mean, I had low hopes coming into this round because I figured it was going to be a Mario round hack, and I hate Mario. <laughs> Why do you hate Mario so much? Every single game just feels like it's so slippery, and it's supposed to be a platformer. I don't want slipperiness in platformers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to re remember that for when I'm a JM next year. Oh, slippery oh. platforms for Gene Genie. <laughs> Actually, that, that'll work into me because I'm fine with jink platformers. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, the thing is, like, Gene Genie, you managed to destroy so many games with odd physics, but as soon as you're, like, presented with physics that have been around for ages that pretty much everybody yeah, has no, played with... I, yeah, no, those physics are just bad for me. That's weird, but it, it's kind of fun to know that that's one of the the difficulties there uh yeah have you played like a lot of mario games in the past uh let's see the first three okay world mario world yeah i played some 64 but that doesn't really apply here i don't know they're Basically the same game. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I I don't know. Even if you do manage to beat some games, still uh, the at, at the very least you know what is difficult for you and what you might be struggling with. So uh, that you know, it's unfortunate that you are getting eliminated, but you know that's how the tournament goes. We gotta get down to the one winner of the whole thing. Now, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, because this also was kind of a nightmare game in and of itself, talk me through this game. What did you think of the ROM hack? Uh, it... It seems like it's made for those that know Super Mario Bros. 2 pretty well. Okay. Yeah, I'd say... I, I know Mario Advance a little bit better than this. Mario Advanced. But, I've never played that I, one. I will say there are also there are Mario ROM hacks that are specifically for um, speedrunners. Um, Smartball introduced me to a game. I think it was like Return to Subcom, 
which is a Mario hack that... Needs oh, yeah, to I've seen that. Yeah, I've that seen was, that one. It requires a lot of information and just knowing how to do stuff. Hey, we are at time. Yeah, we are... We are done. Thank goodness. So Everybody I assume Polter got out of World 1. Yeah, uh, just ended at 2-3. Yes. Yeah, I was screwed either way. <laughs> it's it's really hard when when you get to continue and you have to start back on the world that you're continuing. So that yeah. so getting to world two is pretty much the big step. Yeah, welcome on in, Poltergeist. Hello there. Hi. And congratulations, you are the victor this round. I guess Gene and I have to trade spots between this year and last year. Uh -oh. Yeah, seems like it. <laughs> oh, wait, did you? Uh, uh, yeah, I eliminated Poulter last, last year. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> the revenge round. The revenge is complete. Do you remember the game? Yeah, it was 007 on the Game Boy Color. It was what? <laughs> uh, James Bond. Oh, oh, OK, yeah. I think I remember that one. I kind of like that game. Uh, but yeah, uh, this has been an experience to watch. Uh, we also got to find out a lot about the person who made this, specifically how uh, their website is definitely prime early 2000s. Oh, it's boy. so old and it's so, oh my gosh. Yeah, kind of amazing. But yeah, Poltergeist, talk to me a little bit about your experience w with this game. What did you think of the hack? Uh, well, I thought it was going to be worse than it was, but actually it was just full of cheap tricks that just catch you off guard. Ah, uh, the cheap tricks. Oh my gosh, Gene Genie, there, there was something in, I'm not sure if it was 2-1 or 2-2. Uh, you have to go all the way to the right side of the stage to get a key, all the way back uh, to the left side in order to go through the door. And then when you're in there, there was this troll jump where three flying enemies came at you and you just had to jump perfectly in order to squeeze through them. And like Poltergeist had one hit point and managed to do it. I'm like, are you serious? It was just like nuts. This game is yeah, nuts. Yeah, I, I was screwed. <laughs> But still, you did pretty dang well. Like, honestly, uh, despite being stuck uh, back for a little while, the levels are short enough that, uh, honestly, you you know, you could have made a comeback at any point. We were just hoping uh, that we could see a little bit of the progress. But I don't know. Mario 2, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Mario in general is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have cursed the design of Mario 2 uh, on many levels before. Why so? It's... What what do you hate about Mario 2? Oh, it's just so slippery. Everything is slippery. And th the whole, oh, you can't hold the run button when you do a super jump mechanic is really fun, too. Like, otherwise, you just drop whatever you're holding. Like, there's so many dumb mechanics in the game. <laughs> They add up to be a frustrating experience, yeah. despite the game being kind of fun level design. Okay, okay, I like it. I, uh, I actually think Mario 2 is maybe one of my favorite Marios out there. Like, I feel like Mario 3 was the pinnacle uh, of Mario games, but Mario 2 is still really high on my list. I completely agree with you, though. It's slippery and it's weird and you often die not because you did something wrong but because the game just doesn't feel like it's supposed to act that specific way yeah oh poltergeist congratulations you do live to see another day you will be going on to the next round we'll have to get that scheduled with you sometime Gene genie i'm sorry to say you are out of the tournament this year again hit me up for any of the prizes uh, we are giving away for this round people eliminated uh, up to 30 games $30 worth of game up to 30 games wow I mean if they're like $1 games sure uh, up to $30 30 games and they're all pairs and gray witch and I still need to hit you up for the last two years oh yeah 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 of uh, movies <laughs> well 
This year is Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny with the riff tracks uh, on DVD. That one is something special. I'm sure you'll love it if you ever actually hit me up for that. But yeah, I, I'd be happy to get that for you. We do, however, need words for your headstone. So any last words, Gene Genie? With my dying words, I curse the veggie tails. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> nobody cares where your hairbrush is. Okay, Larry, seriously, go grow up. You can buy a new one. You can even go to a freaking discount store, okay? Bet Dollar Store has better hairbrushes than your stupid hair. You're a cucumber. Why do you need a hairbrush, you nerd? Okay. Anyway, curse and veggie tails <laughs> on your way out. I 100% approve. So, yeah, I, I think that's actually going to be it for today. Again, until I am done with grading, streams are going to be low to none. It just... You know, I want to make sure that I am focused on getting them finished. Uh, after the 22nd, I should definitely have more of a life. So, uh, you know, it's sort of trying to calm myself down and get through grading. That's what's going on in my life. Let's go ahead and raid somebody there. Oh, go ahead. I heard living is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. You know what? Winter Pride 2020 is going on right now. Let's go ahead and head over there, give a small little raid, and then uh, let's go ahead and ask them where our hairbrush is, I figure. <laughs> <laughs> where is my hairbrush? They will definitely like to know that. Uh, and go give all of the love to Power Up With Pride. I will see you as soon as we get something scheduled with Poltergeist, and uh, I believe it's Triscor who is going up against you. Uh, other than that, take care. Really, take care of yourself and relax and have a good time. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. So, bye. Bye, bye everyone. Poltergeist, GGD, bye. Bye. Uh, oh, not me. You're not leaving. <laughs> well, please, please leave. Discord. Yeah, that's it. I'm removing you from Discord again. <laughs> Bye.